and welcome back. This is probably going to be a bit, a bit shorter video than normal, but I kind of wanted to get this posted in reference to a comment I made on one of Reignited's uh, videos uh, in reference to his video about a theory on one way to avoid um, the lift or failure issue, which is only seen on some, and I stress some, Hemi motors with MDS that suffer high amounts of idle time. So the theory was that finding a oil pump that would give you a greater amount of volume, again, not pressure per se, but volume. And in his research, uh, he, he saw that a Hellcat oil pump uh, does have a slightly different vein set up on the inside of the pump, a.k.a. should result in a, uh, a more volume of the pump. So since we happen to be, as timing would have it, in the middle of doing our 6.4 upgrade, I ordered a Hellcat oil pump for a 2019 uh, model because that is the model Hellcat that I also own. And I wanted to show you the differences here. From what I can see, it looks like this will bolt up to at least a 6.4 because I only have a 6.4 oil pump to compare this to. I don't have a 5.7, but I would assume, and that's an assumption, I would assume that it's probably going to be the same pump, just a you know different vein as far as setup on the internal. But this was the pump that I ordered. Here is the part number here, 681-95993 AD. Again, 681-95993 AD. And I ordered this again for a 2019 Hellcat. Now, what you see on the bench sitting next to it on the towel, because, you know, it's an oil pump, so it's leaking oil, is the original 6.4 uh, oil pump out of our truck and as you can see the mounting points on both sides the oil orifices the port where the pickup tube gets plugged into look pretty much identical it looks like this will do a fine job even the spacing of these teeth here that grab a hold of that rear timing gear I'm sorry not rear but bottom timing gear look to be exactly the same I turn this around to the front here now the only differences I've seen so far appear to be just be writing you can see that even the divots and the creases uh, and the lines, all of this, you know, appear to be identical. The only differences I've noticed, and this is on the uh, the Hellcat one, you'll see this is an H2 MIC, and this shows as an S3 MIC. I don't know what the S3 versus the H2 what that difference designates i'm sure it's got to be maybe it's just when it was made but i'm sure it's probably i would assume again i'm assuming this is some designation with some characteristic of the pump but overall at least from a physical standpoint you can see that these pumps look spot on with each other there's a little bit of a difference there that could just be a casting number, but that says 152, and that says 5G. But it looks like it'll bolt up quite nicely. Exterior-wise, like I said, it looks to be the same exact pump externally anyway. So I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm eager to get our engine built on and get this completed and uh, compare what the compare how she operates before and after. So I'll end the video here. Like I said, going to be a relatively short one this time around, but I want to get that out there. And I want to go ahead and follow up to my, my comment on Reignited's video because I, I promised I would uh, in reference to 
uh, at least just saying that for now, as we can see, physically, it looks like it'll bolt up just fine. And uh, obviously, we'll bring you back once we get it installed and start putting it into use. Thank you much. Bye.